Welcome back to another Photo Friday. And actually, today is Friday. <laughs> so, if you watched last week's video, this is probably quite familiar because I shot a little bit of the iPhone photography from this particular scene. And as I said at the time, one of the great things about out with the iPhone is you can sort of get your eye in with some potential composition. So I just knew I had to come back to this little bit of the um, of the coast because some of the rock formations and some of the lichen is just fantastic. Now, as chance would have it as well, we've got just a little bit of moody lighting going on. And one of the benefits today is over to the west, it's sort of about two o'clock in the afternoon. So obviously the sun's kind of starting to head towards the horizon again. Um, there's just a little bit of diffused cloud letting a little bit of light in. And behind me, um, it's actually quite dark and moody. So the potential to maybe do something a little bit moody. Now again, following on a little bit from last week, thinking as well a little bit of long exposure. Um, it's nowhere near as windy as it was last time I was out, but there's still a little bit of movement in those clouds above. Um, so that could actually work in my favor as well. And one of the things I've noticed the clouds are doing now that I've plunked myself down in this particular spot, they seem to be heading directly away from me, which can be quite a good visual aid when thinking about composition. So what I'm gonna do first and foremost is, as usual, not get the tripod out, have a bit of a look around with my eye first of all, maybe do a little few test compositions with the iPhone and see whether we can come up with something. So I think I find an image um, or at least something to work on. That little pool of water, kind of just down here somewhere, that featured in one of my images from last week. It's kind of what brought me back here. I really love the look of that. And so shooting on the Fuji 10 to 24 mil, I don't normally shoot wide. And so it's quite interesting, quite a, an interesting reminder when you're shooting at about 12 mil, um, just how a slight change in perspective can really change the look and feel of the image. Now, what I think is going to make or break this image apart from the wind is whether or not we get any movement in those clouds. Now, given the fact that I want to maintain a little bit of energy potentially in the waves, it's probably going to be two exposures blended, one for the sky, a longer exposure, and then a shorter one for those waves. So let's see whether we can get something set up. I do feel a little bit of rain, so maybe the only thing moody in this vlog is going to be me. Right, so apologies for the audio because I'm now on the GoPro and I have got a bit of a wind muffler on there, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, as you can see, the elements have really closed in and looking at the forecast, it doesn't look like things are going to get much better. One of the benefits of shooting local is the fact that this is pretty much on my doorstep. So I actually quite like the composition or maybe a small derivative of that, a slight derivative of that. Um, so I'm going to carry on shooting. Um, I have a, a 10 stop on and the polarizer on. Um, interestingly, uh, obviously with the polarizer, there's a couple of uh, little pools of water and I'm undecided whether sort of full polarization, no polarization or some polarization actually works. And that's obviously one of the benefits of shooting with a polarizer. You don't just have to go full polarized or not polarized, go polarized really trying not to fall over here. So I'm gonna carry on shooting here because I really do like the composition, but now that those weather elements are moving in, the biggest issue that we have is we've lost most of the texture in those clouds. And so any kind of long, ex long exposure now, it just kind of all goes a bit wishy-washy. I'm gonna carry on shooting. I don't think we're gonna get anything here today. If we do, then I'll be back to you. Um, if we don't, then we'll pick this up in a future day. Oh, massive downpour. Just got absolutely soaked. Oh, I wish I'd known that was coming. Well, welcome back. I was just about to say the weather was slightly better than it was last time, but the rain has literally just started to hammer down once again. <laughs> I actually came out here two days ago and it was actually a little bit too sunny initially and then no mood whatsoever. But that did allow me to play about a little bit with a few more compositions. Um, now, the weather has been very stormy over the last couple of 24 hours or so, which means that I don't think I can get, even though the worst of the wind has disappeared, I don't think I can get to my the composition that I was working on, which is a pain. I actually think that's gonna work out better. <laughs> I think that's good. I think that's going to work out better. Um, 
Oh, the rain has washed away my thoughts. I think that's going to work out better at dawn. Now hopefully tomorrow morning might be a little bit better. So I was actually playing about with another composition because again I, I love just all the textures and everything in these rocks. Um, now thankfully it looks like that crazy rain cloud seems to be disappearing. And of course with a disappearing rain cloud what does that mean? Rainbows! But of course not where we want them but hey. Oh, that's a bit crazy. Well, here we are again. <laughs> um, it's been about a week since I last shot down here. Um, we've had some, as has most of the country, some pretty horrendous weather, winds moving through. And there is no way you would want to have been where I'm sitting right now during those winds. Yeah, it was completely getting covered with huge waves. Fun to watch from a distance. Back down again, weather is it's middle of the afternoon, so obviously light isn't isn't great. And of course, behind me, um, the conditions aren't great either. Lots of blue sky. Kind of was hoping with a little bit of that residual wind to go back to my original plan of something quite moody, a bit of long exposure with maybe some moving clouds. And of course, what has changed now is the clouds seem to be moving. Those which are moving seem to be moving in a completely different direction to what I'd want so but anyway this is the reality of things when you're trying to create an image 90% of photographers out there especially on YouTube would portray that every single shit goes according to plan and you have wonderful images every time and it's just not the case but as I think I've said numerous times before it's actually this part of landscape photography this part of photography that I think I enjoy the most even more so than a final image now I'll talk a little bit about that in a future vlog because it's been something that's been worrying about in this old skull of mine for a while. So, well, now that we're down here, we'll go back and we'll take a look at a few more potential compositions. I may cast the net out a little bit wider and see whether there's anything else. I still love those the the lines and some of the lichen in in on on the rocks, but you never know. There might be something. Right, let's go for a bit of a dilly dander and seize what we can seize. Harsh blooming sunlight, followed by absolutely no light, followed by harsh blooming sunlight. Yeah, so quite bright sunlight at the moment. And by the looks of things, we're going to have a, a bit of a clear evening. It's still a couple of hours to sunset. So I've just been playing about a little bit with, you know, what, when I get a sky like that the last thing you want to be looking at is you know a wide vista maybe literally minutes before sunset or the moments after sunset where you might get a little bit of a pinky purple glow going on but certainly not bright blue sky works in some situations just not here so I've just been playing about a little bit with just again some of the abstract shapes and form um, again though it's a little bit harsh even even for that and of course what I'm really trying to avoid doing now it's kind of covered over now I love wandering around dunes and there was actually some nice light over here in the dunes and it's probably only a 20 minute walk away of that um, but I'm really trying to be patient in this particular location patient stroke foolish probably but okay so as you can probably see on my face things kind of improving a little bit with the light um, we're still not getting anything behind the subject clouds moving over maybe a little bit as you can see there but not a huge amount so again I've just been playing about a little bit with textures and tones as I said and shapes um, as I think I've mentioned before I love the combination of blue and gold so I was doing a little bit of an abstracty shot with some of that light on the rocks and the deep blue shadows with just a little bit of gold reflection in there and then I've come across to this rather large clump of rock and I'm actually shooting well with a black and white film simulation I think the the harsh lights or the harsher light maybe works a little bit with the black and white 
sun's just gone in behind a little cloud for a moment. So I think what's probably going to happen is we don't have a huge amount of clouds above us, so we're not going to get a lot of reflective light. Um, I obviously can't see the, the horizon, the actual horizon, and where the visible horizon is, we'll probably end up losing that direct sunlight. So it's anyone's guess whether we're going to get any nice sort of subtle colours on these rocks. It's a beautiful area, just can be quite frustrating when you are in an area and you know there's potentially something there, but your eye just isn't seeing it. Um, but all good practice. Right, so it's about an, mm, an hour and ten minutes before sunset now, so just going to relax a little bit and play about a little bit more with these sort of large outcrops and see where we go. Apologies for the audio, I've just got the iPhone on quickly, so always really good to keep an eye on the sky. And I noticed that there's a little pattern of clouds that have got this lovely repetitive curvature going on and the curvature almost mimics one of the little curves on the stone as well so I've immediately switched my position and I'm now trying to incorporate that. I'm still using the film simulation, the black and white film simulation, I still think that works best but there's some just lovely soft light on those rocks and just those curvature now they're starting to dissipate a little bit but we'll see what we can do with those. Ah. It's quite nice. The light has now sort of dissipated quite a lot, so we're not really going to get anything. There wasn't really anything doing with a more wide vista shot. Um, so I'm going to start wandering back now. Um, what I was just noticing was I can see Isla in the distance, um, and that is one of the little islands that we're going to, as we spoke about. And I say we because look who else is here. Yeah, I had to give me some moral support. Oh God! Like yes. Apologies if you only came here to see photography. Yes, this is the other half who bimbles about on our van. Oh, sorry, the other third, because there is a, a third. And Guinness is actually starting to recover a little bit. We were a little bit worried. Anyway, but yeah, I lead just out to the distance there. So, not been here now four or five times. Uh, recorded two or three sessions, um, and interestingly, I don't think I came away with the shot that I originally envisaged when I had visited here with the iPhone. But I, I'm hopeful that some of those black and white images of the outcrop have kind of worked. Um, but, and again, as I said, a little bit of a lesson in being patient. It could have been very easy to jump ship and head across to the dunes, but kind of glad I stayed. So with, with that sun now disappearing over the horizon, um, going to bimble on and this will probably be the last video um, from the north coast here for a while because say uh, we're heading over to the west coast of Ireland for six to seven weeks um, next week so might pick up from there and until then I'm off to cook some spaghetti bolognese see you next week guys bye bye So I alluded to this in the vlog that my original sort of thoughts on the type of image that I was going to create here kind of dramatically changed from the end output. Um, you can see here, this is a couple of different crop selections um, that I was originally thinking of. And of course, I, I may still go back to these uh, with the right weather conditions. But what I find interesting was as I spent more time here and probably over the last couple of weeks I spent maybe five, six hours in this one spot, no more than maybe five or six meters squared. And as I really got to know the area um, intimately, um, my, my eye changed quite a lot, my, my vision changed quite a lot. And I think that's what perhaps led to these final images, which I know won't be to everyone's taste and anyone's taste. As I said in the vlog itself, I, I love the shapes, I love the lines, I love the textures. And, and this is kind of what I ended up with from that little area.